few months ago, I've taught you how to create an FAQ page, but a few of you guys are asking me to teach you how to create an FAQ section that you can use not just in the home page, but also in the product page and other template pages. So that's what we're going to learn in today's video. Let's not waste more time. Let that intro begin. Before we begin this video or this tutorial, I just want to mention that we will be using the Shopify theme done. Now, if you're using a different Shopify theme, then expect to have a different output. In most cases, the issue is related to CSS. If you're having a different output, if your output is different from mine, then that's definitely the issue, your CSS. So make sure that the FAQ accordion is using the right CSS utilities. But I'm not going to waste your time with all of those CSS stuff things so without wasting more time let's go to our computer so here in our browser the first thing that we're going to do is to open the theme editor or the theme code editor so here in the online store open the themes page and then select actions and then edit code all right, so before we continue, I'd like to mention that if you're not familiar with Shopify themes and its customizations or customizing Shopify themes, make sure that you back up your Shopify theme before you continue this video. That way, if ever you somehow, I don't know, destroyed your Shopify theme or your Shopify store, if ever that happens, then you'll be able to recover it later on. So I'm going to click edit code. And in this page, we're going to create two files. One is for the CSS style sheet of the FAQ accordion. And the second file is going to be the section file of the FAQ block. So here in our assets folder, I'm going to close first the templates. Here in the assets folder, create a new asset by clicking the create a blank file and call it FAQ hyphen style sheet. And then make sure that the file extension is set to .css. Okay, that's CSS. Click Add Asset. And then scroll down, look for that file. So FAQ style sheet .css. let's open that. Now we already have here the FAQ style.css. This is the style sheet that we did in the previous video. So let's just ignore that and focus here in the FAQ style sheet, the new style sheet that we created today, okay? Now here in the FAQ style sheet .css, we're going to copy the code in our blog. So here in this page, I'm going to put the link of this blog post in the description below or the i icon here. And then once you open that link, scroll down and look for the style sheet or the CSS utilities or classes for the FAQ accordion. So here I'm going to click copy and then go back to the theme code editor and just paste the code here, okay? And just save it. The next file that we're going to create is the FAQ block. So scroll back up and then minimize the assets folder and then open the sections folder and then create a new section by clicking the add a new section button and then call it FAQ. Click the button create section and then go back to the blog post and then scroll down and just copy the following code. I'll explain all of this in the code editor. So here, I'll just paste everything just like that. So in this code, we have three parts of code that we need to pay attention. The first is the CSS link. And then the second is the container of the FAQ accordion. And then the third one is the schema tag. Now, if you take a look here, we have the following code language. Just get rid of this, okay? And the first is the link tag for our CSS style sheet. If you take a look at this object, it's referencing the wrong file called faq-style.css. We'll need to update this to faq-style-sheet.css. So here, just add S H E E T. That way, it's going to reference the right file. FAQ hyphen style sheet CSS. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with objects, tags, and filters, you may watch the Liquid video tutorial that we have on our channel. I'll put its link in the description below, or you can check out the eye icon right over here. Next one is the container of the FAQ accordion. So here we have the following four tag. 
that loops through the section that blocks. So for each block in the section that blocks, we're going to create that accordion. So we're basically passing the block that settings to a new variable called item, and then we are going to render the item question, which is this one in the settings of the block, and then the answer of that block. So we have two settings inside of the block. We have the text question and then the rich text answer. Okay, by default, this settings will have a default value. Do you have a question for the question? And then I have an answer for the setting answer. Okay, now if we take a look here inside of this div with a class of tab, we have the following input with an ID of FAQ checkbox and it's using the object or basically concatenating or interpolating the, um, the index of the for tag or for loop. So for each iteration, this will basically start from one and then two and then three and then four. It will depend on how much blocks is inside of our um, section, okay? So now if I save this, and if we open our themes page once again, I'll open this in a new tab. And then click customize. And then here you can just minimize all of this. And you can click the add section button. And if you take a look, now we have the following FAQ block. You can also search for it. So FAQ block. There we go. So you can see now we have the following section. Now if you click that, it should create a new FAQ section. If you click the add FAQ item, it will create a new accordion. If you create another item, it will create another one. If you create another one, it will create another item. So this is going to work just like this. Now you can customize this and change the question to something else. Do you ship internationally? And the answer, you can just change this to a text, a random text. Yes, we definitely do. And so on. So basically, you can just customize this to whatever you want. That is already working. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to add a title and then a description for this section. So we can do that by copying the code underneath of this blog. As you can see here, we have the following highlighted text or code. You can copy that. And then go back to the theme code editor and then just paste it underneath of the div with a class of page width, page width, and then narrow. Just like that. Okay. We can also indent this back. Just like that. Now, if I save this, it's not going to work yet because we still need the following settings. The FAQ description and then the FAQ title. And we still don't have those settings. So here in the schema tag, just underneath of the class, we're going to create the settings. So settings. Honestly, if you're um, too lazy to copy my code, you can just go back to the blog post and I should have the following um, code. So you can just copy that instead. So go back to the theme code editor and just paste that underneath of the class, just like that. So now if we save this, and if we go back to our theme editor, and we can also save this now. And if we just wait for it, there we go. So you can see now we have the following title and then description. And if we get rid of the, um, say for example, the description, uh, we may need to refresh this page because currently we still don't have the settings. So, so just refresh the page if you still don't have the settings. There you go. Now it's there. Now, if we get rid of the description, it should only display the title. And if you remove the title, you will still have the accordion. Okay? Now that we have the FAQ section, we can now create as many FAQ sections as you want. So here in the sections, you can add another FAQ block. And you should create another FAQ section. And if you add an item, you should add an item. If you add another one, it will create another one. And if you add another FAQ item, it should create another one. And the great thing about this is you can do this not just in the home page, but also in other template pages. So if I save this, and if I go back to our products page, here in the products, and if we select the default product template, and then if you scroll down just a little bit, 
And if you click the add section, as you can see now, we still have here the FAQ block. So you can click that and we should have the frequently asked question here. And that's pretty much it. You now have the FAQ section that you can use, not just in the home page, but also in other template pages. Now, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you enable those bell buttons or just that bell button right over there. And you won't miss our future uploads. Anyway, shout out to all of you guys who are watching this video till the very end. You guys are awesome. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.